So if you'll recall, I recently released a video about how LifeSite was jumping on the anti-SSPX train. Church Militant criticized the LifeSite News reporter's background with the SSPX. John Henry Weston wrote this article, and I'm going to read a few clips, but I would encourage you to read the full thing. It's very interesting. It starts out by him saying, Dear LifeSite readers, we have received many responses regarding our initial coverage of allegations of sexual abuse within the Priestly Society of St. Pius X. What has been most disturbing in all this is the reaction from Church Militant. We have been called frauds by Michael Voris, and this is particularly sad as I consider him a friend. Further down it says, First of all, you should know how LifeSite got into this investigation in the first place. It was Michael Voris asking us to engage in it. At LifeSite, we take all investigative journalism very seriously, and so we had two reporters delving into the facts of the case for months. Once we started looking into the situation, we discovered a definite bias against the SSPX on the part of Church Militant, which in our studied analysis has led to some problems with their investigation. So now LifeSite makes a mention to the bias of Church Militant in regards to the SSPX, which on this channel I have been saying for quite a while. And the article further goes on to discuss how Catholics can attend masses at the SSPX chapels. John Henry Weston references an article from Father Z, which Father Z says, yes, Catholics can attend SSPX masses. He also quotes Bishop Athanasius Schneider. Bishop Schneider says, hey, you know, we should take this into account like we should definitely try to root out sexual assault wherever it happens, whether it be in the SSPX or anywhere else. If we're going to do investigations into the SSPX, let's also do thorough investigations into dioceses. Now what this tells me is that Church Militant is trying to alienate all of their friends. They're trying to take down the SSPX. And they're not going to do it because organizations like LifeSite News try to separate the facts from the opinions and try to provide you with the most accurate report possible. And I think that even if they are going to continue coverage of the SSPX and molestation, sexual assault, it's going to be, I think, reasonable and I think it's going to have less bias. Now, what's interesting here is that Michael Voris specifically requested LifeSite News join him in attacking the SSPX. And it seems like LifeSite initially agreed to join them, but then they realized how biased Church Militant's reporting was on the SSPX, and they decided to write this article and defend their reporter. And from the beginning, I've said if there was sexual assault in the SSPX, then everyone involved should resign. So Church Militant has done some good work in the past, but by attacking the SSPX, I think if they continue down this path, it will ultimately lead to the downfall of Church Militant.